Hey guys, so I, as many of you know, am a college student. Yes, I am. Today, I wanted to show you guys how I plan my academic life, how I organize, how I stay productive, how I keep track of everything I'm doing, how I basically manage my entire life and keep track of my entire life. And that is by using Notion. Notion is kind of this like all in one. It's a productivity tracker. It's a planner. It's a calendar. It's an organizational tool for like whatever you need. This video is also sponsored by Notion. So thank you to them for sponsoring this video. But I was actually using using Notion way before they ever reached out to me. Like as soon as I first heard about it, I immediately got on board because here's the issue I have with many like planners, real like physical planners is that they never do everything that I want them to do. I always wanted a monthly overview. I wanted a weekly overview. I wanted a daily overview. Within the daily overview, I wanted it to be split up into like a to-do list and long-term assignments. I also wanted like just a place where I could keep track of due dates. So I always wanted a lot out of a planner and none of the planners that I used like met all these needs obviously like there's only so much that physical paper can do for you and so when I heard about Notion I was like okay this sounds like it could work and the great thing about Notion is that it's super duper customizable and that is something that I will touch upon many a time in this video so I'm gonna jump right into it and give you a tour of my Notion today so first let me give a disclaimer everyone's Notion is a little different okay it may look a little strange don't judge my Notion it works for me and that's what's important. Um, it's also a little underdeveloped. That being said, let's jump into it. Okay, so hi, I've switched angles just slightly so I can work on my lovely computer. So this is my home base on Notion. It, as you can see, it says my entire life, haha. -ha. Now another great thing about the customizable abilities of Notion is that you can import your own backgrounds. So I actually like made this little collage and some like photo editing app and I imported it to Notion. So you can just go here, you can change cover. They have some pictures available for you to use, but I wanted to upload my own. So I went here and I uploaded it. You can also add an emoji to each page. Now I know a lot of people use their emojis for like actual functional purposes. Like they'll be like, oh, this is how I was feeling today. Or like this represents like this part of this page or whatever. I don't do that. I just choose the emoji that I think looks the best. And I can do that because it's totally customizable and I can do whatever I want. Down here, I have a little description. It says, hey, Nina, don't lose track of anything, please. So as you can see here, I have pages linked in this page and I have it split up into my daily and specialized pages. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the daily pages first. These are everything I do on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, these are the pages I use. So the first thing is things to do, and this is just my to-do list. So as you can see, there's another collage. I love putting these like aesthetic collages as the background. I just think it looks really nice. It's just called things to do. And we scroll down and you can see that this is pretty fucked up. Like this is not a page I'm proud of. The leftmost column is everything I have to do today. Yesterday I was feeling really overwhelmed. So I actually wrote down literally every single thing I had to do that day. So that's why you see some weird things like breakfast and shower. I will keep my to-do list in this like really simple format is because I love just like clicking that little checkbox and checking off a thing. It just, mm, it's so good. Anyway, so what I have to do for today, I still have to do these code exercises that are due by the end of tonight. I need to edit another video. I need to do all these things and that will happen later. But for right now, they are on my to-do list for today. Now there's also this save for later column. I don't have anything in it at the moment, but usually when I feel like there's no possible way I can like get to these tasks today, I'll just move them to the save for later column. So I'm like, I didn't need to do those in the first place. So yeah, that's my things to do list. Super simple, not complicated at all. And we can go back to the my entire life haha page. And now we're gonna jump into a page that I'm super proud of, which is my budget tracker. I don't even know why I'm proud of this page because I did rip it straight from Notion's templates that they have available for everyone. But it makes me feel super adult, super like I have my life together, even if that's not true. Okay, it gives me the illusion of having my life together because I'm tracking my expenses. So as you can see, I have another collage. You might notice a theme. I love me an aesthetic collage. I called it Please Stop Spending because I do need to stop spending. I also love cracking myself up with my Notion titles. I have a goal listed out here. This is my goal over the summer. I don't really like stay true to it anymore. Also this monthly cap, I, I also also don't follow that anymore. Yeah, so this is less of like a budget tracker and more of just like an expense tracker. It's also a good idea if you are working, if you're a working woman, a working lady, you can keep track of all your business expenses. You can keep track of your personal 
expenses. Very, very useful. Right now we're in the September view, but you can also switch to all expenses and this will throw up like a bajillion expenses. We can also filter by category. So you can filter by like clothing, let's say, and yeah, I have a lot of clothing. So you can add these views and the way that you actually control what you see per view is you can go to filter and add these filters. So that is how I organize my expense tracker. So now we're gonna hop back and go to the last of my daily pages. And listen guys, I need you to get ready. This is what made me fall in love with Notion. This is the reason Notion is like my favorite tool of all time. I know I'm hyping it up a lot and it's gonna be kind of underwhelming, but just hear me out. This page did it for me. This page sold it for me. So we're gonna click on it. As you can see, another collage, um, but this says fall 2021. This is the hub of my academic career. It does not look complicated because it isn't complicated, but this is everything, everything I ever wanted in a planner. Now you might be like, yeah, you're overreacting. Yes, I am. But that's because I literally had no good way of organizing my thoughts in terms of my academic life. There was nothing that really met my needs until I got this. And now I freaking love it. Like this is all I ever wanted. The main reason I'm saying all this, the main draw to this page for me is that I can break my deadlines and due dates down by course. That is all I ever wanted to do. I think it's such a better way for me to like organize things is to like go through each course and be like, what do I have due? So I have five classes this semester. I have everything written down, all my due dates that I need to do. Let's pretend this didn't exist yet. So let's say I'm in class, I'm in my gel class and they say, there are pre-lecture notes that you should read before lecture on Monday. What do I do? I go into my notion, add a little to-do list checkbox and I will say, read pre-lecture notes Sunday, boom. That's all I needed. We can see that 1430 is class of the year, gold sticker, nothing to do yet. Whereas this class 6031 makes me want to die. We have already had so many due dates for this class and there's no way in hell I would have been able to keep track of them had it not been for this page. Now down here, other things, I don't really use this. It honestly shouldn't even be here, but whatever. As you can see, 1806, I have a piece at due Wednesday. Maybe I had forgotten about that before, but if I'm ever on this page, I can just look at it and boom, there's a due date right there that I might've like forgotten about mentally. This page single-handedly saved my life last semester. I was taking six classes. It was too much, I would not do it again. And this class literally saved me because there is no way in hell I would've been able to keep track of all my deadlines without this. I know it's simple. I know that there's probably a much more like complex and advanced way to organize this page, but this is what works for me and I love it. And so I'm going to keep it. And that's what I love about Notion is you can do whatever you want. So now that is all of my daily pages. Now we can jump into the specialized pages. And as the name implies, the specialized pages are more specialized and I maybe don't visit them every day. So the video planning page, I probably have to blur out everything on this screen. It's just more links to more pages because every video I make now, I will make a page for it. I can write out all the thoughts I have for this video, like what I wanna say, what I want it to be like. This is where I plan out all my videos. I have upcoming and finished videos split into columns. And yeah, I think this page is really good because before I wouldn't even like have this anywhere. Like before all that information would just be like floating around in here or on various like notes app pages, but now it has a home. So now jumping back, we're gonna go to my last page. And again, I'm very proud of this page, even though it is also ripped straight from Notions templates, my job applications page. Okay, so this used to be on an Excel sheet or like a Google Sheets basically. This was the Google Sheets that is the equivalent of the Notion page. Obviously, it's much uglier and that really is important to me. It also, from a more functional standpoint, can't hold as much information. One really great thing about Notion's tables is that you can embed a lot of different types of information into them. For example, I'm just gonna go through. The title is Job Search, except I'm not gonna get any of them, part three. There is a part two and a part one. Don't worry. I am gonna blur out the company names because I don't wanna be a liability, but we're still gonna go through. So first of all, I've linked my current resume up here. I actually have to update this. I did recently update my resume and I need to change the link. You can also upload a cover letter template. My portfolio is just my website, the website that I coded myself. Yes, I did. Um, I'm gonna blur that out too because it's not good. So now scrolling down to the applications. The columns here, I have the company, the position, 
You can add the status. I think this is very, very helpful. I can add comments. My comments are all stupid. As you can see, they're not helpful at all. What is helpful is that I added a column for the career portal because I always used to freaking like lose the career portal and then I have to like go find it to see if I was rejected from this job or not. But now I have them all linked here. So that's actually very helpful. Down here, there's another table for non-summer applications. I only have two of these. They were both for fall. I was rejected from both of them. So now jumping back to the My Entire Life page, I just want to go over a few other things that I do to customize my pages to make it look the way I want it to look. If you were to just like create a new Notion page, it would be the default font. It would also be like more narrow. I like to do the mono font and make it full width. I just think that it looks a lot better. Again, I also like to play around with the cover photo, the title, the like descriptions. I like to have fun with it. So we're back on the My Entire Life page and that was my notion. That was it. Again, I do really wanna expand other parts of my life onto this. I really think the pages that already exist are doing a great job, like 100%. They're doing so well. Like I love them so much. If you wanna check out Notion, I will have a link in the description box. I urge you to go check it out if you have any trouble like with planning out your life or organizing or staying productive or like writing down your thoughts thank you again to notion for sponsoring this video and that's gonna be it today guys bye